sure if you all heard, but over failure reunion last week, a bunch of new features and commands were released, making it actually usable now, which it wasn't really before. Um, so what I was hoping today was to go through the basics of the database, how to input new clients using Kelly and command, and then how you can maximize your touches to them. Is there anything that you guys specifically want to get out of this that I can cover? No? Um, anything. Can you kind of define command? I keep hearing about it, but yeah, I mean, I actually, I don't know how many people use the edge. I do, but so it's like something amazing is happening. And <laughs> yeah, so I can actually show you how to integrate your eEdge account into Command as well, because Command is going to be replacing eEdge. They're eventually going to discontinue eEdge. Command is going to replace it. So it has everything that eEdge does, plus a lot more. So let's get started with the basics. When you log into Command, you can find this page by going to agent.kw.com. Um, I think everyone here should have access. You're just getting set up. Dorian, do you know who your login is? Um, I have it in, in an email, but it's, like, it's automatic on the computer. I don't remember. Okay, no worries. Um, and then when you go to that page, you'll be prompted with this. This page, and then this is the login that you'd use to go to Connect or eEdge. It should all be the exact same, or Kelly, yeah, as well. So when you log in here, oh, 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 look at that! You were right. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good start. So uh, what you said it was agent. Agent. Kw.com. <coughs> Nice and easy to remember. Anybody who has a computer, you guys see this? We're good so far? Are you able to access it, Samantha? Um, I'm just logging in, so possibly yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. So this is good, like this is essentially your dashboard to start with. All these tabs are the I'm sorry, it was oh no, it's wrong. Agent.kw.com. kw.com it takes you to the generic Okay, so this is the dashboard. All this is the functionality of the database so far, and then obviously coming soon is what's going to be available, just not yet. The biggest thing is going to be smart plans. It shows it as available, but it's not yet. And then we'll just run through this quickly. Do you want to say something? No, no, no. I'll just sit here for now, and then I'll add. Okay. So, first is going to be contacts. This is probably going to be the most important part. 
save the environment. Fill that back here. Um, okay, there's you can't see it, but on the side here, can you? There is like a bar here. It's just a from the TV, and that's going to have all the different sections of command within it. Um, but right now we're looking at the contacts view. So this is your whole database right here. And then you can change your view by doing this. And then we'll just scroll down and see it in a minute. You'll be able to so you'll see the regular fields here. First name, last name, all that stuff. This is relevant when you're importing from another database. eEdge is fine. It syncs automatically. But if you're importing from like top producer, user locator, Profini, whatever, you'll have to mirror these columns to make sure that it imports properly. And there you go. And now this is going to be a useful feature, custom tags. So you can see here, this person's marked as family reunion. Let's just go into it. Thank you. Associate KW family reunion. So this was an agent that I scanned my barcode with, and she was automatically entered into my database. So some of these tags show up automatically when you do it like that. The tags is essentially how you're going to filter everyone. So if we go into yeah, we good so far. How to get a uh, counter to that barcode? You mentioned that you scan the barcode and then it automatically got added. So do you have the Kelly app? Yep. If you go into here, profile, scan or share. So if you go here, share QR code, that'll pop up. And then you if scan I scan, it, boom. Um, and then here, I'll show you right now actually. This is actually a great way to network with other KW agents. And then I'll show you an example. So if I go scan QR code. Got you. <laughs> okay, cool. So now, if I go back here and then refresh this. he will be entered into my database. And same thing with, so you don't just have to do with agents. Does everyone here have the Kelly app? You press add in contacts. You don't even have to do that. So when you go into Kelly, you can just go home, and then you can like talk to it, or you can, or you can type it out, but you can say, add a contact. Add a contact. It's the same either. as my key Yeah, the same way you use to get it to command. It's a fingerprint. And what else? Do you have a fingerprint yeah. passcode? I do, but... That's okay. I don't really have it. So, sorry. Add a contact. So, you can sign in. You... Oh, wait. Yeah. I just downloaded the update. I've actually never used anything to do with code. That's okay. Kelly's actually... The way they're treating it is like the mobile version of Dago. If you just sign in with the same login you use to get to command, it's essentially the mobile version of command. So if all the information that's on command is actually stored in the cloud. And that same information you can access through the Kelly app. So if I want to say enter contact, I'll enter Chris's name. Chris, go out soon. And then I say save. Never mind, it doesn't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> anyway, the idea is. 
you'll be able to input data directly from your phone and the app when you're on the go, and it'll go straight into the database as well. Grow the database, speed the database, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So if we are now in um, the database on command, yeah. I've got my image, but I don't see that I can pull up any um, individual contacts. Can, can we just import and not? Yeah, that? it wants to automatically, but if you go in here and then into settings. So the contacts is really that simple. It's just a place to store the information of all your contacts. And then custom tags. They're glitching a little bit right now, but that's going to be how you filter all of your contacts. So you can see when I added somebody, it gave them that tag automatically. Okay. So now that you've added the contacts to your database, you want to feed your database regularly, right? So you can do that through a whole bunch of different things. Mainly, email campaigns, lead accelerators, and landing pages is going to be how you contact your database on a regular basis. Smart plans is also going to be amazing. It's not available yet, but it's going to incorporate all of those aspects into one thing and do it automatically for you. So let's start with email campaigns. Basically, command, in short, is a database that incorporates all the third-party apps that KW thinks that you should need to run your business. So for example, before, you would have had to take your database, export it, and put it into something like MailChimp, and then use MailChimp to send out a mass email, for example. Now, what KW did was worked with MailChimp to share that database. So MailChimp actually integrates with Command. So that once you put your database in command, you can send mass emails through MailChimp. And now this all starts in SketchUp. And SketchUp is where you design your email templates, your landing pages, and all that. So just if we run through this quickly, I can say I'm in SketchUp right now. By the way, you click create a new sketch. Let's do email. So right now, this is just what your email is going to look like. And you could say content, and I want to put an image, an image at the top. And then I want to put divider, boom, layout, one section here, boom, text section, and I need that. And then that's going to be my email, my picture, or whatever. Once you do that, you can save this as I said, well, that's my new newsletter, right? Now we've just created a template to send out as our email. And we just designed that template within command. Usually, you do that within MailChimp. So now, now we can go back to email campaigns. Still sorting out some bugs, but essentially what you do here now, now that you've created the template, you go into email campaigns, you name it, you pick the list in your contacts who you want to send it to, and you just select that template. And then boom, you send it out. Okay. Okay, so that's one option when it comes to feeding your database. 
Any questions on that so far? <laughs> Let me know if I'm going too fast or if I'm talking too fast or anything like that. Does it work with constant contact? Is constant contact one of the ones that we can use? Like Maybe. So there's a company called PySync, that, and PySync might have integrated with constant contact. You can check. It's in your settings section. There's a link for something called PySync, and if you click on that, it will show you all the companies that they've integrated with. Okay. Okay. Back into SketchUp again. Now that we just did an email template that we want to send out for a mass email, you can also create landing pages. Similar concept. We're still in SketchHouse now, so the SketchHouse really is the one place where you can design everything. Now, we're going to select a web template. Actually, let's do emails. I'm going to market the snapshot first. Excuse me. Okay. The market snapshot was Keller Williams' original idea, so they have never seen it before. It's essentially a website that's designed to communicate with your clients on a one-to-one -one basis. So you can actually go in and in under about two minutes create a specialized website with specific neighborhood data for each client and they'll have their own unique URL to access that website. Without a login. Without a login. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Can you see alright? So this is just the default template, which honestly I would have changed already. And then unfortunately, we don't have the data yet in Toronto or Canada in general, but what I've heard the next two months we will have active and sold data available for these market snapshots. But if I go up here, so States, if we want to do something for that client, yep. can we set it up now to do yep. whatever this is? Exactly. Yeah. Right. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And so then it's got a web uh, lead form here, so you can send out. So this you can in essentially do one for every single one of your clients. Set them up their own custom landing page. And this link never expires, so they'll be able to access this whenever they want. And the best part, I'll tell you this. When smart plans are released, a smart plan is essentially just a sequence of activities that you're telling command to do. So, for example, if you're running like a Facebook ad campaign and you have a new lead come into command and you say, put that lead onto smart plan one. Smart plan one could be send them an automatic text message saying, hello, thank you for connecting with me, blah, blah, blah. And then the smart plan could say, add a reminder for you to call them in two days. And then after that, once you've created this, you can say, send them a neighborhood market watch on day three, automatically, and it'll do it all for you. Minus the call, you have to do the call, but it'll remind you to do it. So it's got this, blah, 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 and then again, your beautiful face at the bottom here. Okay. Is this through command too? Yes, it is. Everything I'm going to be showing you is through command. This is, and this is actually a command feature. It doesn't even use a third-party application for this. Um, question. Mm -hmm. Why isn't mine already me? Do I have to upload those things into command? 
or will it pull that from? The land, I just don't think they're available yet in Canada. So. Oh, that's part of what's not available. Mm -hmm. So, right. um, it, but that's a great question. So, um, Scott Lero Marketing, the ones that who own the uh, originally, they're actually going to have that integration process at one point for us. Once this is uh, just like you can use the, the limited features, but right. uh, just watch out for Scott Leroy um, questionnaires and all that, um, the marketing, because they will have a special section on this. Understood. Great. So that they can onboard you and integrate that. Right, that's again. great. Yeah. But as far as I know, it should just be all the information that you've inputted into your it profile. It, it should just do it automatically for you. Yeah, that would make sense to me. I don't know why you wouldn't do that. Okay. So there we go. We just did a neighborhood snapshot. It's not fully functional yet, but once you finish editing that, it'll just pop out a URL and you'll be able to send that URL to whoever you want. Boom. Okay, last thing in Sketchhouse is a web template. There you go. So just like when we were doing the email, same thing. It's literally just drag and drop here. So you can say, I oh, want <clears throat> branded header. Boom. Agent branding. Actually, whatever. And then I want to leave form. And boom. Perfect. I've just created my web page that I'm going to run my Facebook ad with. Just call that lead form. Yeah, it's the web. Boom. Save it. Save some of my sketches. Now when I go back there, my lead form page is right up there. Awesome. And now, so for example, that lead form that you just saw, I could take that web page and promote it on Facebook. And then all the leads that enter their information into that lead form, their info goes directly back into my contacts. And then when Smart Plans, sorry, straight away in the contacts. Straight away. And then when Smart Plans is available, I'll say when I get a lead from lead form template, put that lead onto Smart Plan One, and then boom, it'll start executing Smart Plan One. Okay. I'm going pretty fast. Any so, questions? Here? James, do you think you could just um, like? So say you meet a person, so what would, in terms of getting them into all this technology, the first thing to do would be to add them to your database, right? Add them to your database, and right. And then through your phone, Kelly, add Oh, okay. <laughs> and it just, you're just literally going to, yeah. Okay. Do you have the app open right um, now? I think I do. Okay. Yeah, okay. Add a contact. Add a contact. And then you say okay. enter contact details. Okay, but I don't type it, I just... No. Oh. Well, if you click on that, like where it says enter contact details, boom. Okay. And then you put in their info right there. Okay. And as soon as you hit save, that contact will be in the cloud, the yeah. color cloud, whatever you call it. Okay. And then as soon as it's in there, you'll be able to access it through command or on your phone from anywhere. And is this functional right now? Yeah, it's functional. Mm -hmm. um, okay, sweet. So if I may add, mm -hmm. um, just on the two things that you've just shown. So when this relates how this relates to ignite this is ignite press session for every ignite session you uh, would have received uh, the materials yesterday yeah, yeah? Um, bring your laptop the first thing that we'll be asking you is uh, uh, when when you are actually be generating Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so the first thing that we'll be going over is have you gotten 10 leads into your system this is not appointments. This is not have you had appointments because appointments equals money. It's 
how many conversations did you have in your sphere of influence? At, it doesn't matter if it's strangers on the street. You went to a networking event. You handed out your card. You got their information back. You talked about real estate, and and they they wanted to either buy, sell, invest, or lease. Uh, you put them into your database. That's what we want for this duration of the evening program. It's 10 contacts per day. Okay? Uh, per, per lead generating session. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, yeah. that's what you said. That sounds like old. Yeah, that sounds like old. No. <laughs> sorry. Cool. Oh, hi, sorry. No, sorry. I left it for too long. There's no one Okay, I'm moving fast. Are we good so far? Yeah. Anyone have any questions about functionality in general or specific questions? No? Okay. Okay. The next big thing, this is sort of not so much database anymore, but as I was saying, command has really got everything. Just like one stop shop, everything that you're going to need to do is in this one page. And the reason I say that is because this is the first time a brokerage has made a CRM, which means that they have access to listing information and your income, essentially. Something that no other CRM would have direct access to. So if I go into the Opportunities tab here, this again isn't fully functional yet, but you'll be able to track all of your appointments, active listings, under contract, and closed volume here. And then same thing with your buyers. Same thing. Does this probable income, which I find kind of odd, but it's very cool. So then boom, and then down here, you'll have your closing showing up at the bottom. And they're going to give a nice grasp for that too, apparently. Mm -hmm. So currently, right now, in, uh, in uh, our profile, we do have, no, we don't have the opportunity activity, but we do have your sales um, history, it, like the units, uh, like the contracts written. Contracts closed. We do have that, so they're basically taking that what we had and they're making it better and more intuitive and AI focused, which the opportunity activity tracker. Right. Yeah. And then this is gonna you're gonna get a pipeline as well. Uh, so when you're creating contacts, the information that you put into the contact will be fed into this as well, so it'll update automatically. I believe they are also coming up with listings or uh, rental as well. Yes, you'll see here it says leases, but that's all the lease information they have right now. I talked to our tech coordinator, he says we're getting a lease section as well. Yeah. The issue was in the States, agents don't really do a lot of leases there. Okay. So it wasn't really an issue for them, but we said Canada needed, so they brought it. So we shouldn't see our effectively our deals in here at the moment quite yet. No. Okay. Um, but you can see them in the original. Yeah. Good so far, and then the next thing. This is going to be lead accelerator. So this is how we're going to bring leads into our database. Facebook has worked with Instagram, Facebook, uh, Nextdoor, direct mailers, Google AdWords, or sorry, real mailers. And they've essentially allowed you to create an ad within command. So before, it was you had to go into your Facebook ads manager, your Instagram ads manager, Google AdWords, or real mailers to create those ads. The command says, one-stop shop for everything. So now, you'll be, within command, you'll be able to create your marketing campaign. Let's say, uh, listing leads here. And then we want Facebook, and then 10 days, and then we want, yep, a dollar a day. And then we want to brand awareness, let's say, configure campaign. And then <coughs> it's going to give you some more options here to create your ad. Does it have the stock images and things that Facebook has? Stock to create ads? ads? Yeah. It doesn't have all the same functionality as Facebook Ads Manager. Right. It's really they stripped it back to the basics. Right. But it will get the job done. Like if you weren't using Facebook Ads Manager before, you'd be fine with this. If you were, I'd recommend staying with it for a while. Right. But then it wouldn't be tracking as part of my matrix of data on command. It would be operating 
separately. Right. Exactly. Um, that being said, you could use a landing page. Like I don't know where you're advertising in Facebook, but if you're using a community nothing. Page. I'm not advertising anything <laughs> at the moment. Free come. Free come. Alright, you not license yet? No, I got caught up because I. Uh, We're not advertising anything. Not advertising not anything. Not advertising anything. <laughs> So yeah, it's really that simple. And then like everything's pretty self-explanatory here. If you want, are you ready to plug? If you want, I'm not gonna go super in depth now. But if you if you're curious about online advertising, then you do some. So I'm happy to sit down with somebody one on one. Happy to do that if you want. And actually, that man right over there on his phone in my presentation is really good at. Yeah, show your eyes. Yeah, show your eyes approved. Yeah, so he can help you as well. Yes, he's my I'm not going to go super in depth about this because I'm not actually certain that everything is up and running, although it should be. But if we go back here, I want to get out of here. Save this draft. Something that I thought was really cool was real mailers. Where the Facebook ads button was, if you see real mailers, it's, I'm pretty sure it's American, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're going to get a Canadian version. You'll be able to create um, direct mailers within command. And so when you have the addresses for your contacts, you can pick a list, you can say like farm area one, and then go into real mailers, design your ad, and then they'll actually print the mailers and mail them off for you. So no more like, Finding yeah. a print company, getting a quote, sending them your image, yeah. picking up your place, your taking ads, them the taking them to the yeah. post office, paying for them there, the driving team. back. Yeah, that, that's a lot of steps. That it, uh, so you, so is this going to actually integrate with Canada Post, and we can like choose our? Is there any Canada Post it's, directly? It's going to be like ad, ad mill. Uh, so AdMill is like, uh, what they do is just they, uh, you give them the advertisements, you sell them where, uh, tell them where to uh, take them out, and it's probably, it's comparable, it's like three cents apart, like Canada Post is seven cents, and AdMill is like se uh, ten cents or eleven cents, um, but they basically do the bulk of work for you, and they hand it up to address specific places. Okay. And it's like way easier than Canada Post to book all of those uh, walking routes with them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's great. The last thing I'm going to go through quickly is in the settings here. May I ask uh, one last question there? Please. Create a new campaign. Um, there's obviously the options that are available, and then LinkedIn and Nextdoor are grayed out. Uh, yeah. Those so are coming though? Yeah. Right. LinkedIn it's, is coming. Nextdoor is an American company, so it's not going to be available right. to us anyway. But there's a Canadian version. I just can't remember what it's called. Right, right. What's the right? No. That's a brokerage. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, my bad. So in here, right now I'm in my settings, so I go right there, boom, to settings, and then this page will show up. These are all the applications that you can link to command. So right now I've got Google Calendar, so if you're using Google Calendar, it'll import your action items into your database, so you can view them in here. Same thing with your Gmail. I'll show you. It, it says that the calendar is coming soon, so that will not be something different, or will it be whichever one you... Select. Yeah, that's going to be a, the Google Calendar. So I'm going to show you right now. It looks to me like the calendar that's coming soon is a calendar built into command versus what you're talking about is the ability for that calendar to talk to your Google Calendar. That's what it's going to be. So the calendar that's going to be built in is going to sync with this. So if you add a, a task into your command calendar, it'll import it into your Google Calendar. But let's see, let's pick.
Um, so, uh, so there are two components to event. Um, there's one, uh, more than two, but um, so when you come into the classroom, we will have the instructor. The educational uh, things that you're going to pull up through the materials of the PDF files are going to be all on your computer, or you can print them out, whichever one you like. Um, there are going to be like the tasks for the day. It's like watch a video, do this, do that. I would recommend, because sometimes it's a lot, that those tasks take a while for you to do. So you can, uh, you can do the ones that you can in the time that you can prior to coming to class. Um, all the material, like you know, it's always good to read before the instructor so that you can make the notes when the instructor presents. But you're welcome to make the notes uh, as well when the instructor when the instructor is presenting, and then just extract any other materials that you need um, after the presentation. So if there's something about the presentation that really stuck with you, and you're like, okay, I really want to find out more about this, you'll be able to go into your notes into further detail and through uh, a KW University uh, tab in your um, internet to learn more about the subject. And then the other big component is like building up your CRM system, which I mentioned before, you gotta add those contacts and we will be taking numbers um, every time prior to the start of every session. So be ready to share. And your work so you're not embarrassed. Posters. So it's super yeah. embarrassing for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, we're able to connect to this calendar. It's not the same thing. But there's issues, just keep trying. Like, delete it and add it eventually, it'll work. Okay. So, it, it delete it, you, you, yeah, you gotta do it because, like, that's what AI, that's what they're, like, they're trying to do it. So, it just does it itself. It learns by itself. That's... However, that being said, if you ever have issues, you can't really see it well on this screen, but on your computer, it'll be at the bottom here. It's a little black circle with a white dog in it. If you click it, you have an idea, you can post it there, or if you need help, you can click support, and then boom. They will answer all of your questions. Mm -hmm. And you can do actually the same thing from the Kelly app. So when um, if there's a submit button, button and then it just, a, a window pops up and you say, blah, 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 this is the issue that I'm having, upload the screenshots of whatever issue that you're having and send it off and they'll make the update to it like ASAP. Because there is still a lot of bugs, I will say that, but it's like the rate at which they're fixing them is crazy. I went to a seminar, a family reunion, and he had planned it the day before. By the time he was giving the presentation, they had already changed the app. So if you have issues, they will address them pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And the more we use it, the more emphasis they'll, uh, they'll have to address those issues. But again, in your settings here, you can just go and connect all of your different accounts and they'll just open up different features that are available within command. So right now, here I've got uh, calendar and my email and then Twilio, this allows you to send text messages from your computer, which is what I was talking about with smart plans. You can have the database automatically send out Text messages that I have, Facebook, and the ocean. So, just the basic stuff right now. James, you got added to my Bechtel network. Yep. Perfect. My contacts in Scanner. You also got added in my Bechtels. Like we scan your. Yeah. If they're an agent, they automatically go to your yeah. referral yes. number. Yes. If you, yeah, because you can't scan a client. They won't have a, a QR code. Yeah, I didn't really cover referrals because I don't think it's going to be super important for you in the next few months. Um, if I, I don't know. Please cover it. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> please talk to the rest of our referrals. Yeah. So um, the really cool thing about our company, uh, and, and you can start making plans for it too, because right now I'm not allowed to trade, but I am allowed to give referrals, right? Uh, which is like it's a good chance. Like imagine if you get a 25% uh, referral fee, on it's like five thousand dollars in your uh, account automatically. Um, so for somebody who has contacts in the the West, or who has people who want to invest in Florida real estate, New York real estate. Um, anywhere beautiful in the United States, 
you literally go into your referral network, you find somebody from uh, that city, um, and you say, I want to add, uh, give you a referral, and then they automatically see that you sent them a referral, and once the deal closes, the, the money gets sent to you. Yeah. Um, so do take advantage of that. I know that many of you have families living abroad. Um, you know, there's uh, untapped uh, income yeah. potential. And KW is opening brokerages worldwide at a crazy rate. They just opened a brokerage in Italy. Four years ago, they opened their first brokerage in Portugal. Yeah. And now have 23 in four years. Yes, in four years. Uh, and then Ireland, Luxembourg, and uh, Finland, right? I think so there you and where did you get that? This is just my referral network. So oh, I see. Um, this is a whenever you <coughs> use your Kelly app to scan another KW agent, they'll automatically show up in your referral network. Mm -hmm. This is sort of like KW folklore. I don't know if this story is actually true, but I've heard it so many times. There's an agent who joined KW and he started marketing himself as a relocation specialist. And he was running Facebook ads uh, and capturing leads and then sending the leads to another KW agent in another city and just taking the referral fee. And apparently he made over $100,000 in his first year without actually that. doing his own deal. I believe that. So the interesting thing is in Family Reunion, you know, you all know uh, Amy Gilmore, right? Yes. Um, an, an agent came up to talk to me and like, oh, like, what if she's from Florida? Like, she like, I want to talk to you because I was talking to my coach and I thought she was waiting in line to talk to him. And she's like, uh, I want to come teach at your market center. I'm like, really? I'm like, why? She's like, well, uh, a lot of my business comes from Toronto. She's in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Yeah. And in fact, I'm working with one of your agents now. And, and I, she's like, I don't know if they're in your office, Amy Gilmore. I'm like, yeah, she's in our mm -hmm. office and she's a rock star. Yeah, so she apparently sold like an income property for her parents. Now they're looking for another one. And she actually didn't realize that Amy, she started working with Amy when she was a Remax agent in the beginning of 2018. So she actually didn't have like the referral conversation with her as far as, you know, like, come join Keller Williams. Had she done that, I'm sure that she would have been in her down, like in her profit tree as well. But yeah, so see how small the world is? Um, and you can do business really anywhere globally in 35 different countries. At the tip of your fingers, <laughs> really. Um, well, mm. I I know I blew through that, and I know a lot of it isn't really fully functional yet. But things are coming online really fast. If you ever have any questions, I'm in my office a lot. You just send me an email. I'm happy to go over anything with you guys. Mm -hmm. James, thank you so so much. This was incredibly useful. Uh, the thing, the meat of the uh, the thing that we needed to do, it does, which is, you know, yeah. gets your contacts going. You, you can add contacts reliably now. Yeah, which, which is, is awesome. Which is and awesome. you can use Kelly to do it, which I think is cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, anybody coming into this with certain expectations and the Ignite program? Anybody have questions about the Ignite program? Computer Bring your laptop. awareness. Awareness. Mindset. That, Mindset. That's, what we're, yeah. that's what we're doing. So we're going to have the cold calling groups from 9 to 11, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So those will be on here. We're, we're going to have them. Um, the, what is it called? The plaques for keeping oh. track of our numbers in the cold calling groups. And we'll get started on that this coming Tuesday. 9 to 11. You're signed up for them, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just confirming the time. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so next week is Ignite, and I'll see you here for the first session, which is on mindset, which is awesome because, like, I'm basically going to talk about what Gary Keller talked at Family Reunion and passing it on to you.